guys, welcome to another episode of Sipping with Sheer Magic. How are you guys doing today? What is your weather like where you are? It is okay in Kansas City, not too, too, too hot like the other day. Um, not cold, not comfortable, but uh, it's it's hot. It's not like just a steaming hot. But anyway, um, I have a special guest with me today. Um, Evans Caterer, my sister-in-law, and she is going to do some ox... Oxtails. Oxtails. She's going to do oxtails with us. All right, guys. This is my sister-in-law, Pauline Evans with Evans Catering. Hello. <laughs> She's going to make oxtails for us. What are y'all sipping on? We got some good good. Drop in the comments and let me know what y'all sipping on. So I'm going to let her do her thing, and I'm going to talk to her while she's preparing her oxtails. And uh, we're going to enjoy this video. Okay. All right. The most important part, seasoning. Look at those colors. Beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what's all in it, but those are beautiful. It's a secret. <laughs> so just mix them up real good. Mix your seasoning up real good. They do look cute. So what made you get into catering? What made you decide to have your own catering business? Because, let's see, probably about 20 years ago, my husband used to make me cook free all the time. <laughs> For all his sports events and everybody that wanted food would call me, can you cook this? Can you cook that? So I got tired of cooking for free. <laughs> so I decided to open up my open um, my own business. So I've been in business for 15 years now. Yay, that's a long so, time. What do you find what do you find most challenging with um, owning your own business and um I, I can't really say dealing with the public, but like just challenging having a, uh, being an entrepreneur owning your own business. Um, the challenges uh, just kind of for me is keeping up with the paperwork. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing. I love to cook, so there's no issue with cooking. I can if I don't know how to cook something, you tell me. <laughs> I find a recipe and then make my family begin pics. <laughs> but. Um, I enjoy it. I enjoy working with different people, watching them eat my food, mm -hmm. and just sitting on the edge of my seat trying to see if they're going to like it. <laughs> like we do events, I'm like, okay, do y'all see any, a lot of plates going in trash with a lot of food on it. I mean, do y'all see this? So we just, I just like pleasing people. Yeah. And, so and her food is good, y'all, by the way. Her food is good. I'm not just saying it because she's my sister-in-law. I want to give y'all a good view of her preparing this. So you hear my voice in the background. I don't need to be on camera. I want y'all to see her. Okay. So my wash oxtails is already washed and all that good stuff. My season is mixed up. This is my favorite season. I mix up some stuff and I put it on some of everything. I mean, good. literally everything. So they say you have to have this season for this. Just, mm -mm. It, not not for us. As <laughs> long as it's flavorful, it's good. Okay. Okay, it's, it's mixed all up. Okay, now I'm going to season my oxtails. And they're they're all washed. They and they too. look good. <laughs> and guess where I got them from? Walmart. Okay, just put a little seasoning on them. Now, how much did you say they run like per pack for oxtails for those that haven't had them before? Because I haven't. They're they these cost. Uh, these are this is three packages. They're fifteen. They range from fifteen to twenty dollars a pack. Wow. So I got three packages, and they're like they were like fifteen, sixteen dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. so, and I'm just mixing them up. I'm using gloves because I'm um I'm gonna be touching my onion and all that good stuff. But you still want to wash your hands. Yes. <laughs> Make sure y'all wash them hands. <laughs> right. And so what I do is just uh, flour my, uh, season my oxtails. I had to turn them over, y'all. I'm sorry. That season looks so good. Season my oxtails. Mix them up. And a lot of people cook theirs on the stove to brown them. You don't have to do that. You don't oh, I did see that. people do that before. Yeah, you don't have to. I mean, if you want to, you can, but the way I cook, how many people I have to cook for, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> so, actually, this recipe was taught to me by my mother, Erlene. Oh, okay. Because I used to make her make my oxtails. So she just so said, I'm she's trying to make me do everything. <laughs> so now I got to cook a whole case of greens tomorrow. I mean, pick a whole case of greens. Because she acting selfish. 
Okay. Cause she got to do it herself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Certain stuff, she would do it for me. But now she making me do a lot of stuff by myself. Okay. So now I'm going to flower my, um, uh, what's this? Oxtails. Oxtails. <laughs> Oxtails. Oxtails. And you just flower them like it's chicken. I'm going to knock this off. I was just trying to, I couldn't show y'all my, uh, you know, when I get my hands real, real dirty. <laughs> So you just you just flour it like it's chicken. I'm sure. I'm sorry. Oh no, you I, are. I have to use my step stool to get in my cat. Right. I have one too. <laughs> so to make sure I can reach it. And I just like to spray my pan so I won't um uh, yeah, spray my pan so it won't stick. Make it easier to clean up. Right. Okay, I'm about to uh, just flour them, and then I'll put them in a the pan. That gives them that good coating. And, and it gives you, this makes your gravy. Okay. You want, because you want your juice to be kind of thick. Mm hmm So you just put them in a the pan. I can put something out of that. All kinds of stuff. Get a lesson in oxtails. <laughs> bigger ones around the edges and then you'll put your smaller ones in the middle so just kind of line them up you stand them up with the bone standing straight up hmm. instead of laying them down mm -hmm. okay because you want to be able to move shake them up you know in the middle and to get your flour all through there mm -hmm. and you can just stuff them in there it ain't no certain way and people when people charge out charge out for oxtails, that's because they are high. Mm-hmm. So when you go out to eat, you have to pay that pretty penny. Right. That's cause... And that's why they only give you three. Mm-hmm. But I don't order oxtails out. <laughs> why, you don't like them? No, I, I be one more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got this big bone down the middle. Right. It's just meat around the edges. Uh-huh. And they give you like three, three of them. Of them. Yeah. It depends on the size. Be because they're very expensive, that's why they only give you... A small amount. Mm -hmm. So how long do you cook um, those for? I you... cook them about, I cook them, let me see. I put them on, so as we get done, we'll put them on, mm -hmm. and they'll probably be done about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. And so they'll be, it'll be uh, food for tomorrow. Yeah. Just let them cook. Yeah, you have to, you can't, it ain't no, like, quick cook. Yeah. Mm -mm. Because you want them good the and tender. Right. You want them very tender. You want them tender. So they're all not going to fit in that pan. So. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it a little pan. picture thumbnail for when yeah. you put them in that pan. So you kind of just stuff them in there mm -hmm. and stand them up and put the little babies. I call them little babies because they look, look, they real little. <laughs> That is little. Yeah. And they put them in a pack. Really? That's what you buy. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is literally three packs for $45. I mean, wow. probably about $50 because you got some of them with 17 some of them, one pack with 16 something one pack with 15 something uh -huh. So, you're, yeah. Wow. These little bitty ones, little bitty babies. You probably get three, of, you probably get about four big ones and uh -huh. the little ones, and they're kind of all stuck together. Okay. So, so this is this pigment. Can y'all see that? Slide it up a little right closer. There. So that's the, the pan that she got. That's the first pan. And so uh, since I don't have very many, I'm just going to put them in a small pan. And I'm not going in my state storage to get another pan. <laughs> so you're about to see the last pan come out. It doesn't matter. Right, as long as they get cooked. Right. Y'all drop in the comments and let me know if y'all have had oxtails before, if you've cooked them, um, what they taste like to you, or, you know, yeah, just if you've had experience with oxtails. I know a lot of y'all do, because a lot of, everybody likes a lot of different things. I'm just the weird one that haven't tried a lot She's of stuff. She's going to try them, you so. guys. She's going to have some tomorrow. I'm going to make sure she tries them. And, and then, we didn't have oxtails at parties. Why she don't get none? I right. have no idea. I don't know. 
don't know why she had not tried the oxtails. And we have oxtails all the time. And then I can let y'all know how they taste. <laughs> yeah, we have oxtails all the time. I don't know where she been. I've been sleeping on the oxtails, y'all. Yeah, she's sleeping on them. They good. And they're not pork. They're beef. Right. Because <laughs> a lot of people don't eat pork nowadays, so. That's, all, that's you black people don't eat pork. <laughs> that's y'all don't eat pork. But I have... 14 slabs of ribs that I have to uh, prep in a few minutes, and I bet you those, uh, uh, they get ate by your people. Right. <laughs> Them same people that don't eat pork. Right, with no problem. <laughs> okay, so they're all in there. And so now I. I cut onion on top. I put onion on top. Give it a little extra kick. Oh, it just, the flavor. Uh -huh. just, onion just does everything good. Yeah. Love me some onions. So what will you cook with your oxtails? What will be your... I will cut up some um, carrots and potatoes. Uh-huh. And see, some people, some people put their carrots and their potatoes on, um, they put them in there. Okay. But I don't want mine to cook up like that. Oh, yeah. Because carrots and potatoes don't take, take them off. Don't take them off, yeah. So, so what I do, once these are done, once these are done, I'll um, give me a, beef, you know, I give me a pot mm -hmm. and I'll take the juice off of them. Mm-hmm. And pour it inside of another pot. Okay. And then put my potato and boil my potatoes. Oh, and carrots okay. Because it. it has so all the flavor. So have all the flavor. Okay. And then I pour it over. Okay. I don't like. I don't. It. I just don't. I don't like my vegetables. I mean, I don't like. To be that soft yeah. too. Mm -hmm. so. Those look good. That makes sense though. Let's cook them separately. I have new knives, y'all. <laughs> That's why I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, they cost me, but uh, I like that. I ain't gonna tell you how many times I didn't cut myself with them. Right, but it's okay. It's okay. Cause they look super sharp. I just bought <laughs> a nin. It's a ninja set. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. right oh, there. okay. So I got I got rid of all my knives and bought me. And just got a ninja set. Yeah. She is hooking it up, y'all. Oxtails. Y'all, she had fed the um, homeless too. I meant to tell y'all that the she fed the homeless, the, the community, and so you don't have um, to be homeless. And we're going to do it again this year. Yeah. And so we just, you just pour in water in it. Move my cup out the way so y'all can see. And it just, yeah. So the water is gonna, the water and the flour, once it cooks together, it's gonna make your gravy. Okay. So that's what makes your gravy. And in the oven it goes. You have to close it up tight, though, guys. You have to, you have to wrap it up tight. To wrap it up tight. I do it small, so I have everything. To right. <laughs> Just have all the big stuff, y'all, for caterers. She can't do all the little foils right. and the, and that's that thick foil too. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Put it in the oven. Like I took some I for our client. I had a customer that wanted some mm -hmm. oxtail, so I just took some. Uh, what was that? Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, I took them to her yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I cooked them, uh, but I put them on right before I went to Love and Touch. Daycare, where I work. <laughs> and, um, Shout it out. Love it. Right, touch daycare. Right. Right. <laughs> Kansas, what was that, Kansas City, Missouri? Uh, she's in Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. Yes. And she's uh, one of the finalists. Oh, yeah. At the KC, uh, KC Award. Yep. 
So and she just started her daycare. She just started her new business she, as well. She's about to have five years. She just moved into her own oh, building. Oh, okay. Oh, her own building. Her okay. Own, yeah, it was in her house. And now she, oh, okay. Yeah, she got her own home center. Oh, good. So, and she makes me cook. <laughs> I try to quit, but she won't let me. She said she got so, cook. we put that in her oven on 350. And just let it cook for probably about three or four hours. But you can try them. I like my oxtails where it's 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 falling, mm -hmm. it's coming off, where it melts in your mouth. Yes. You want me? Said, you want to see me wash some uh, get my uh, ribs together? You want me to get my ribs together? She said she's got to get her ribs together. I mean, you know, you here, you know, you want me to get them together, or what you want me to do? Is that it? Are we done? Yeah, I wanted to show y'all her doing her um her oxtails. And we're going to um, have the final end results when they get done. Is there anything else you want to say to the people before we let them go? Fast? Sure. <laughs> now, if you're having a baby shower, a repast, funeral, um, you just want some extra food around the house, call Evans Catering. <laughs> we, don't, we, we cook like we cook for us. Right. This is, a, this is the only time my husband eats is when I cook for a catering job. <laughs> And we don't cook at home. I don't want you to say, oh, she cooks at home. No, I cook <laughs> at, in the, in the, at the Innovation Center. And it's at 201 North Forest. But when I'm not cooking for people, I'm cooking for at home. Right. So, so but yeah, come on out. Evans Catering, 84. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm about to use wrong address. I'm sorry. <laughs> come on out, 816-286-9934. Call me anytime. Or if you want to know how to cook something, if I know how to cook it, I would t definitely tell you. I can tell you some of my secrets. I can tell you how to do a little bit of everything. So, fam my famous mashed potatoes everybody love. Call me. I'll tell you how to cook them. <laughs> she said she got you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is it, you guys. Um, I brought some unwind um, to show you guys. So, if you do cooking or anything like that or you have a long day, then Bedroom Candy has our unwind serum. And our unwind cream what that you that? can put on for like your shoulders, CBD, unwind, oh. uh, for like massage. So say if she had a long day and she's catering and things like that, then unwind will be good for that, uh, for your muscles and achy, you know, spots and everything on your body to relax you and unwind you. But thanks guys for tuning in. Thank um, you. I'm going to show y'all the end result. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I come on to run my mouth about whatever I want to talk about. Drop in the comments and let me know what you're sipping on and if you've tried oxtails before, okay? And I'm going to leave her catering information in the description box, okay? All right, y'all. Until next time, I am about to get up off. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Oh, this, yeah. Let me tell you This was the, one of the first tools I got. And guess who gave it to me? Who? You did. I did? Yes. Oh, because it's got the slicer thing. Yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot you know about that. how long I've been having this? That's a long time. And I still use it faithfully. <laughs> I just cut up oh, cheese wow. for a pasta salad with it. Wow, that is so cool. I just so had to cool. throw that out there. I just had to throw that, that out there. That is so cool. I like that. Yeah. You don't even, she don't even remember. I'm about to say I didn't remember. remember. She don't remember. She don't remember. It's okay, though. It's cool. okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, that's all. All right, y'all. Well, um, y'all have a good one. And um, I will see y'all next time. Stay tuned to the end of this video so y'all can watch out, watch how her oxtails turned out, okay? <laughs> hey, guys, we are back. She is done with the oxtails, and we are about to show y'all what they look like. So hold on tight. <laughs> she is getting them ready for us, and I'm going to taste ox oxtails for the first time since I haven't had them before. And they hot and they look good. I'm gonna have to have you hold it to do a thumbnail. You ready? Can y'all see it? You no, may have to get a little bit closer. Yep. Yeah. Go over. Uh-huh. And then you can go closer so you can turn it. Thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> they look so good. I'm excited about trying them. I'm excited about trying them. They look real meaty and gravy and seasoned. Let's, let's try. See, 
see what they taste like. I'm going to drop her information in the description box. I'm also going to drop in um, the daycare information description box. You guys can go and follow them on, you know, on um, Facebook. And, um, are you on Instagram? Um, yes, but I don't know how to work it. So more Facebook than yes. Instagram. God is good. God is great. Let me thank you for this oxtail in Jesus' name. Amen. That's a bone. It's a bone down the middle. Yeah, right. Look at me trying to cut, do it from the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I just don't pick it up. Ooh. She like hot keys and stuff. I know. She like hot stuff. Mm hmm So I'm like, you're hot. This is really good. Mm hmm It tastes it great. It's, and, you, and it's really good with um, potatoes and carrots, but um, we didn't have time to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, this is really good. You like it for real? Mm hmm But it's a fork. Mm-hmm. Tender. Mm-hmm. It's like falling off the bone. And as you can see, I didn't brown it, and it's still brown. Mm-hmm. And it's tender, and it's cooked. And Fire. Uh, skip that step. Throw them in the oven. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people gra braise it and all that, you know. That was good. I would have never expected that to taste like that, for real. I don't know what I was expecting, but that was good. And I didn't even need the fork. Because it was falling off the bone. <laughs> I'm like, let me pick it up and try it. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Well, y'all, this is her oxtail recipe. Reach out to her if you need catering or anything. She makes some amazing food. Great customer service. I helped her with an event before. And it was really fun. And people was eating up her food, coming back for seconds, talking about how good it was and all that. You like that for your business. So it's all about the support, support, support. So thank y'all for watching. Go get y'all some oxtails. No, oh no, it's hot. <laughs> Go get y'all some oxtails. And until next time, oh, one more thing. Kansas City just got the World Cup um, 2026 um, soccer for Kansas City. So that's a good celebration for Kansas City. They're gonna host it here. But um, yeah, so thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I come on and run my mouth about whatever I want to talk about. All right? Sure Magic is out. Deuces.